Beloved in Christ, let it be our care and delight on this Christmas Eve to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem to see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience to the glorious redemption brought to us by this holy child. And let us make this sanctuary glad with our carols and praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth, and for unity and brotherhood within the whole Christian church. Holy God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick in body and in mind, and all who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all who do not know the Lord Jesus, all who do not love him, and all who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but on another shore and in a greater light that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in this Lord Jesus we forevermore are one. Eternal God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. These prayers and praises we humbly offer up to the throne of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God, Emmanuel, God with us. Amen. Alleluia! I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, Christ the Lord. Today is the day of our salvation. Alleluia! Glory to God in the highest, Alleluia, Alleluia. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
one God who was in the beginning, who makes a dwelling among us, who covers us with justice and mercy. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. God of goodness and loving kindness, we confess that we have sinned against you and our neighbors. We have turned away from your invitation to new life. We have turned away from the lowly and downtrodden. In your abundant mercy, forgive us our sins, those we know and those known only to you. For the sake of the one who came to live among us, Jesus Christ, our Savior, Amen. Hear the good news of peace and salvation. God forgives us all our sins, not through our own work, but through Jesus Christ, made known to all people. With all who come to the manger, rejoice in this amazing gift of grace. Amen. Come now, O Prince of Peace, make us one body. Have mercy on us, O Prince of Peace. Come now, O God of love, make us one body. Have mercy on us, O God of love. Come now and set us free, O God our Savior. Have mercy on us, O God our Savior. Come, hope of unity, make us one body. Have mercy on us, O oh, hope of unity. Hear God's promise as spoken through the angel. From heaven above to earth I come to bear good news to every home. Glad tidings of great joy I bring to all the world and gladly sing. To you this night is born a child of Mary, virgin mother mild. This newborn child of lowly birth shall be the joy of all the earth. This is the Christ, God's Son Most High, who hears your sad and bitter cry, who will himself your Savior be, and from all sin will set you free. shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. 
Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah chapter 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. Thou hast multiplied the nation, thou hast increased its joy. They rejoice before thee as with joy at the harvest, as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, thou hast broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of the tramping warrior in battle tumult, and every garment rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and his people with his truth. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the second chapter of Titus. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own hometowns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood there before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
you pray with me? Lord, it is night. This holy night is for stillness. Let us be still and silent in your presence. Lord, it is night after a long day and a long year of days. What has been done has been done, and what has not been done has not been done. Help us to let it go. Lord, this night of nights is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. This night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us and all who are dear to us and all who have no peace. This night heralds the dawn of a new reality Let us look expectantly to the coming of a glorious new day. New joys, new possibilities. In the silence of this holy night, O oh God, break into our world to be with us, to bring hope and salvation to all. In your name, and for the sake of Jesus, your Son. Amen. Tonight, in our silence, we join weary shepherds out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks beneath an indigo sky. For them, it's just another long night of a very long life of hard nights, a life of extreme poverty and isolation, homeless, transient, despised. But like the shepherds, you and I bear hurts and hardships and fears on this most holy of nights. They weigh especially heavy on our hearts this year. It's not been an easy year. So much has been out of our control. Tonight, in our shared stillness, we share a sense of solidarity with these shepherds. God is speaking good news to them tonight. God is speaking good news to us tonight. So we join them at the manger to witness a newborn baby lying in a feeding trough, to receive a gift, and with that gift, a whole new reality. We go to see the salvation of the world coming to life. In this newborn child, God joins us in our human existence. Silently, God comes to share our suffering and our pain. There is nothing we can experience that hasn't been the experience of the incarnate God. He is with us. He is Emmanuel. In spite of our willingness and zeal, we don't have to search for this Emmanuel, Jesus the Christ. Jesus, God with us, meets us wherever we are in life. We don't search for him. He finds us. As our Savior, he's born to deliver us from all that stands in the way of our living in God's love. He saves us from everything that separates us from God, sin, death, and the power of the devil, Martin Luther would say. He delivers us 
from the powers of evil that destroy our body, our mind, our spirit. And it's because of Jesus that we do not need to live in fear of death. Because his claim upon us is unbreakable. Our poverty and pain, our sickness and suffering are only temporary. Hope is our reality and eternal is our destiny. In the silence of this night, we celebrate God's gift of salvation. But Jesus' birth on Christmas is only the beginning of the story. To know Jesus Christ as Savior, we must also journey with him to the cross. Because that's where his great love for us is revealed. His story doesn't end there. Beyond that cross lies his empty tomb, where in the silence of death, Jesus is victorious over the powers of sin and death, and God raises him to new life. At the empty tomb, we witness our future. One day, we too shall be raised to eternal life from death. The story continues. The living and risen Christ is present here, now, in your life, in the world. He speaks to us in the presence of the, and promises of the gospel. He delivers us and strengthens us when our backs are against the wall. He knows our sorrow. He knows our pain. He answers our prayers. He is God with us, even when we feel alone or forgotten or abandoned. In the silence of this Christmas Eve, let us not simply hear the story of Jesus Christ. Let us receive the gift of Jesus Christ. And let us receive the gift of the new life that he has prepared for each of us. When we go from this place this evening, like Mary, let us ponder all things in our heart. All too soon, our Christmas celebrations will come to an end, and you know how the rhythms of life and the routines of everyday living will grab hold of us and will take our attention away from more important things. So let us join the shepherds in leaving this place and declaring to the world all that we have seen and heard. Let's declare to the world all that God is done and all that God is doing for us. Christ has been born for all the world, but the world doesn't know the life and hope that is ours. We will know the treasure that we have been given in the Christ child when we commit to sharing his love with others and inviting them to receive his love in water and in word. Actually, in the silence of tonight, God is anything but silent when it comes to loving us and saving us. God speaks always. God's goodness and loving kindness are ours. Receive the incarnate God today and every day. Brothers and sisters, let us live in the peace and hope that are ours on this most holy night. But dear friends, let us not hold silent in making our Savior known to this hurt and broken world. Let us cry out, rejoice. God has come to us, Emmanuel. Amen.
earth we confess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. Of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Joining our voices with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. The shepherds sing, Jesus Christ is born. Let your church throughout the world proclaim this good news over the hills and everywhere. Unite the voices of all your faithful people in songs of praise and rejoicing. Hear us, Lord, your mercy is great. Heaven and nature sing joy to the world. Give respite to flocks, fields, and those who tend them. Come near to us in the beauty of nighttime, the shining of the stars and the hush of a world at rest. May our wonder at your creation rouse our care for all the earth. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. The angels sing peace on earth. Come quickly to still the strife of this world. Hush the noise of war and violence in places of unrest. Inspire leaders of nations to seek lasting peace and sustainable provision for all in their care. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Mary sings melodies of comfort to her newborn child. Bring rest and reassurance to those facing struggles this night. Shelter travelers and those without homes. Console those who lie awake due to pain or anxiety. Heal those who are sick or hurting, especially those that we name before you now. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Love sings through the sound of a new baby's cry. Bless new parents and expectant parents. Comfort those who long for children, especially those running out of hope or options. Surround families of every shape and size with your love and care. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. The heavenly chorus sings glory to God in the highest. We give you thanks for all of the saints who have proclaimed your glory in word and deed. Let us join them this night in joyful praise around your eternal throne. We especially remember and give thanks for Millie Fayok, Helen Vargo, Helen Oldham, and Tammy Mesteler. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwell in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us. Arise, shine, for our light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon us. Hear the proclamation of John in the first chapter of his gospel. Before the world was created, Jesus, the Word of God, already existed. He was with God and was the same as God. From the very beginning, Jesus, the Word of God, was with God. Through the word, God made all things. Not one thing in all creation was made without God's word, Jesus. The word contained life, and this life brought light to all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never overpowered it. The true light that enlightens all people was coming into the world. And the word of God, Jesus, was made flesh and lived among us, and we saw his glory full of grace and truth. Let us pray. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. All who follow me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. You are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Thanks be to God. Gracious God of heaven and earth, you have thrown a lifeline to us in our darkness, a beam of light that shines through Jesus. Though born in a manger, he is the firstborn of all creation. 
Though crucified on a cross, he is the Lord of life. Fill us with the wonder and joy of his presence in the world and in our hearts, tonight and forevermore. Amen. Rejoice, for unto you is born this day a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, Emmanuel, God with you. May Christ, who by his incarnation has filled us with grace and truth, give you peace this Christmas and always. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. to God in the highest, peace to God's people on earth. Go in peace, share the gift of Jesus. Thanks be to God. <laughs>